Hello, and welcome to Train Simulator 4 once again. My name is JJ, and let's begin today's video. So today, you guys have been voting in the community section again, and this week you have chosen me to do Southeastern High Speed, Dartford Terrainum on a Class 700 Desiro unit, and we'll be doing the 956 service down to Raynham which originally started at Luton but as you know we do not have Luton in train Simulator 4 so this says it's going to take 44 minutes but I will speed my videos up thanks to Clipchamp so let's not fuff around and let's begin today's journey so there hasn't been any news recently about the release dates of the Gospel Oak to Barking Riverside line nor the Five Circle line Edinburgh Waverley to Mark Kinch by Kirkcaldy but anyway we are loaded in so let's start off our train and let's unlock the doors So we are driving a Thameslink service and by the looks of it this DLC is fully licensed by I think Govia I think I'm not 100% sure so don't take my word Can I actually get a good shot of the train? Probably not I'll just use this Pretty good shot of the drone. Anyway, whilst we have the time, let's set our safety systems up. Which is AWS slash TPWS. Um, do we have driver safety device? We have DRA. Uh, and we'll use all of them and as AWS operational. thank you um, and as the rule is in here in the UK some train doors can close up to 30 seconds before departure now as you know by now I will go by that rule And let's get moving. What a good sound of the traction motor. Although, I still like the noises of the 323 and the 465s. But I'm used to the Desiro noises, because I do go on a lot of Class 350s. But anyway, our next station is Stone Crossing in 1.7 miles time. So since we have officially left... Dartford, I shall leave you here and I'll meet you at Stone Crossing. Okay, so we are now approaching Stone Crossing. Which is only a few minutes after Dartford. Now, the time lapse might go a bit crazy on this video because these 
stations between Gravesend and Dartford are very close together. But I will try my best to speed up the videos. I know I did stop a bit short, but that's because we were running late. And I can't stand being late. And let's get moving. So I will not do a time lapse between here and Green Hive for Blue Water because the stations are very close together which is the case for many stations along the route And we are running early now, which is a lot better than running late, obviously. And we are currently driving 700006. And just because the subtitles go a bit strange on my video sometimes, I'll say in a a lot better sense. Seven hundred zero zero six, which now should work on the subtitles if you did get something weird there. I don't know why I did that for. As uh, someone didn't realise they were running late, so we'll have to put it on. Full throttle and departing, which is all right, but not all of the time. But just to speed up the video a bit, I will leave you here and I will meet you at Swanscombe in 1.3 miles.
Oh, and I forgot to mention that we are at Swan's Coombe. Someone forgot there. We're on air then. <laughs> and I do not why, know why someone just jumped out of our train on the wrong side for. And we are off. Now, just like what I did for Stone Crossing and Green Hive for Blue Water, I will not put on a time lapse because they are only just over half a mile away. And we are about to cross one of the main high speed lines of England which is HS1 which links the capital of London to Paris, Brussels and Amsterdam in the Netherlands I gotta say I would have liked Amsterdam just a shame that it was raining when I was there and on a lovely cruise there very nice And I keep forgetting that North Fleet has staggered platforms. I don't know why I did that for. Because it was only just today I discovered what the DRA actually was. And as I said earlier, train doors do close up to 30 seconds before departure, and I will go by that rule. Just so we are fully prepared. And we are off. Now I will be doing a time lapse between North Fleet and Gravesend. So just to speed up the video, I shall leave you here and I'll meet you at Gravesend. And we are now approaching Gravesend. I think we are going to run slightly late here. But as I've been doing, I'll just full throttle it out of the station. And if you didn't notice just then, we did pass the UK's fastest train, which is the Class 395 Javelin. And we are running about 10 seconds late, but I think we can make up that time. Quite a few 465s. Or is that because the 375s only go from London, Victoria? 
I'm not too sure about that. But anyway, we better be off. And I'm most certainly going to do a time lapse between here and the next station, which is Hyam. So I'll leave you here and I'll meet you there in 4.3 miles time. Okay, so rather swiftly, we are pulling into Hyam, which is located just after Hu Junction. Whoops. I not meant to do that. We were running on time there. Okay, so the next station is Strood, so I shall leave you here and I'll meet you there in 2.4 miles time. Okay, so we are now approaching Strood, running early, which is a bit of a surprise to me. I can see why we might not be running early for too much longer.
and that is us at Strood. Now, I have just realised that there is a platform zero here, which not many stations have in the UK. I know Red Hill has one on the Brighton main line. And as well as Raynham which is where we're terminating today. Uh, Gravesend had a platform zero. And I think Doncaster? Yeah, Doncaster um, has a platform zero. Uh, Cardiff Central has a platform zero, but I'm not going to name all of them because we do not have time. And we are driving between Dartford and Raynham. And we are not on the East Coast Main Line or in Wales. But anyway, I am not going to be speeding this part of the journey up. Just because we are only 0 0.6 miles away. And I'm not quite sure what this river is, but if I was to have a guess, I would say it's the River Medway, but I'm not very good with the rivers in Kent. So I don't think I've been to Kent for years. Excuse the rather strange liveried plus 395 on the side. That's just been one of my projects on the livery designer off air. But anyway, we have. It is nearly time for us to go. And we are, and our next stations are Chatting, Gillingham, and Raynham. But anyway, we better be off now because it is ten twenty-eight, and I'll speed this part up slightly. So I'll leave you here, and I'll meet you at Chatham. Okay, so we are now approaching Chatham. Well, we're pulling in, really. 
which means we have only got Gillingham and Raynham itself after this station. And since we have passed Rochester, we'll be now seeing class 3s and 5s. And I do not know why we overshot so much. There's no need to reset the DRA because there is no red signal in front of us. And I'll be looking forward to doing journeys between Gospel Oak and Barking Riverside as well as Edinburgh Waverley to Mark Inch on a class 170 turbo star which in my opinion has desperately been needed in this game for quite a while And we are off. So our next station is Chillingham in 1.4 miles time. So I shall meet you there. So we are now at Gillingham, which is our final intermediate stop for today. And a while I try to open the doors then. So our next station is Raynham only. Now I don't know what's been going on with me overshooting. But hopefully I'll improve soon. Because after all this is my first video driving a Class 700. And I don't know why we are running mega early for. Anyway, I'll go by the rule of closing doors 30 seconds prior to departure. 
and I forgot to mention that we are only driving a eight car unit. I gotta say the first class seats look more like standard class seating. But you should see the state of the seats in standard class on these trains. They have the horrible ironing board seating which most people don't like and can also be found on the class 387s and 717s and many new trains these days though I haven't experienced it myself But anyway, I shall leave you here and I'll meet you on the approach to Raynham, our final destination. Okay, so we are approaching Raynham Platform Zero. Don't know what's happened to my voice. Ah, that's better. And as I said a few minutes ago, this will be our final calling point for today. So I hope you liked this video. And if you do, then give it a like, and if you are liking my videos, then please subscribe, and subscribe to my channel, so you, and hit the notification bell, so you don't miss a single video. And if you would like to vote for my next journey, which is, which you can already do, over on the community section, select what route you would like to see me do and that is located in the community section of my channel and that is our final stop for today And that is the end of the video. And as I said earlier, I do n not know what happened with stopping at the stations. Hopefully I will improve on that in the future. But I've already said what I normally said, which only leaves me for one thing to say, which is take care, have a good one, and have a good rest of your day.